Well, the prairies are sometimes called Canada's breadbasket. For years, though, farmers have been diversifying, finding other things than wheat to raise and sell. One enterprising Hutterite colony believes the future lies in fish. Fish farmed not just on dry land, but inside an old pig barn in the middle of Manitoba. Crystal Gamansing reports on the unlikely blend of farming and fishing. The barn on the Ridgeland colony looks like every other one in the province. While this place used to house hogs, today it's home to thousands of Arctic char. I have to admit we are proud about how it's working and what we're doing. There are only a handful of char farms in Canada. This is the only one on the prairies. And Peter Wallner's operation also features an on-site processing facility, grow-out area, and a nursery. This is our brood stock. This is where we get the eggs from. The key to this entire operation lies in the tank. It's the water. 76 meters below the ground lies an aquifer full of fresh, cold water. Beautiful for char. It's absolutely, it's perfect for char. To keep the water perfect, sensors are in every tank monitoring temperature and oxygen levels. From the holding tank area to the processing facility, still in that cold water, they actually swim through from that area into the processing facility through this tube. There is one fresh uh, for us, for me, uh, and that's today. Scott McTaggart features the Manitoba-grown Arctic char in his restaurant. It only landed on the menu after a head-to-head -head taste test with a fresh filet straight from the Nelson River. It was uh, clean, beautiful, earthy, sweet, um, local, 45 minutes from the restaurant, Arctic char. Customers ask a lot of follow-up questions after finding out where the fish is from. Only two Winnipeg restaurants feature the locally grown char. Most of the product goes further west. While this livestock is not traditional for the area, it's working. And he hopes to expand to sell smoked fish along with his prairie fresh char. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, near Enola, Manitoba.